I'd like to have a couple questions for Mr. Bugliosi. Okay, go ahead. Are you willing to uh, also recommend the prosecution of Knight of Malta, George Tenet, and all of the other members of the Knights of Malta that are running this country for Rome? And are you willing to prosecute those high-level Roman you... Catholics for their complicit, complicit involvement in this false war in uh, Iraq, as well as 9-11? Well, this tumult or whatever you said, I'm not uh, uh, familiar with that term, Walt, but uh, at the grand jury uh, hearings, uh, all not hearings, but the testimony before the grand jury, and uh, documents would be subpoenaed, of course, and there'd be investigators interviewing people. All types of information and evidence would uh, come out at this state right now. So you're saying you'd be looking, this, you'd be looking at Tenet, though. Well, yeah, yeah. But at this particular point, uh, certainly Bush did not conspire with himself. Uh, he didn't do it himself. He conspired with others, and the two that would almost undoubtedly be prosecuted along with him, and I talk about it in the book, are Condoleezza Rice uh, and Dick Cheney. Uh, I have a sense that Rove is up over his head in this, but the grand jury testimony would probably answer that question. Rumsfeld, I'm not sure about. I have a sense about Powell that his only sin uh, is weakness. But uh, in answer to your question, uh, the grand jury proceedings would be de determined with the accompanying investigation who joined with Bush in taking this nation to war on a lie. But right now, off the top of my head, I would say certainly there's Bush, Cheney, and Rice. Whether there are more than that, uh, I don't know. Possibly Tenet also. Mr. Bugliosi. Yes, sir. And one more thing. You need to read a book called Vatican Assassins Wounded in the House of My Friends, which talks about 9-11 and all the people behind uh, it. Listen, I, I appreciate it. your call. Hey, Walt, we don't screen your calls. We let you on there. And, by the way, the Vatican has been against the war over there. I'm not Catholic. I'm not getting in the middle of this. And I let you come on and ask your question. But the person you talk about has told nothing but lies and BS about me. So I know the stuff he's saying, he, that is his view, is a bunch of lunacy. Okay? And uh, Mr. Bugliosi, it's, it's just craziness. Um, and then, so we're here trying to talk about serious issues. And you say, yes, I'd look at trying to go after Tenet, and that isn't enough. And then people that have slandered me and my family, said horrible things about me, have to then make the show about selling their dirty book. Okay, and I don't mean that the Vatican isn't involved in evil or the Nazis in World War II. I have guessed on about that, like Jim Mars. But serious historical people who don't run around uh, saying lies about me. So just this isn't the place for you to do that. Go hawk your bull somewhere else, pal. That same guy says they drop bombs out of flying saucers and, it's, and, the, and the nuclear bombs are magical and black people need to be put in another country and everything else. Okay, but then since I don't hail your God, I'm bad. This is the mental illness of the American people. We have a very serious person on the air talking about serious issues, not quack garbage. I'm sorry, Mr. Bugliosi. I tried to let him run with his question, and it was serious, and it just turned into pure bull. We'll be right back with uh, more of your phone calls from Vincent Bugliosi. Stay with us. Let me, let me ask you one thing. What, what did you think of Bill Cooper? Well, Bill Cooper was an alcoholic, and I didn't ever try to attack him. He got mad because the network put me on at night, and he thought, and I'd really, really never heard his show because I didn't listen to a lot of shortwave. I was busy, uh, but I'd seen his book. It was all about flying saucers, so I didn't finish it. Somebody had given it to me at Access TV like in 96, and then he really started attacking me in 98 because he was an egomaniac, and, you know, talking about flying saucers in the ocean and and aliens and all this stuff and I've tried to never attack him but people resurrected old tapes he edited of me and stuff and I just feel sorry for Bill and he really let him set him up and you know ran out there and, and uh, you know helped him kill him and uh, it's just a big distraction sir I don't talk about flying saucers and all that stuff man I'm sorry and uh, so I mean it's all like an ego thing like it's two football teams and who's for who I'm sorry for Bill but anybody I mean he, he was a liar though you know, uh, one time I had him on the radio and he was cussing and I delayed him once. Then I said, please don't cuss again. I delayed him again and I said, okay, thank you. Bye bye. Absolutely. It's as simple as the nose in your face. So all you little traitors marching around out there think you're gonna gonna be some big whiz in this new world order. You're not. You're gonna you're gonna be right up there on the on the scaffold hanging with the rest of them. Well, sir, again. Mr. Cooper, have a good one, and uh, thanks, uh, thanks for being with us this evening. 
Again, this is all, I guess it's not good news, it's not bad news, it is just the news. And I'll be trying to keep in touch with you. God bless. You too. Take care. That was Bill Cooper. You can tell I'm real tired. That guy has a lot to say. I got like three hours sleep last night. Good thing we have good guests like that. And I've got to go down and... Uh... And, and, and then he went around saying he never cussed. The guy cussed on air. He cussed at everybody. He was yelling at the board op going, you effing little idiot. You know, I told you to call this number to effing have me on. And then he gets, and then he says that he didn't, you know, the guy's, he was a pathetic drunk. Talk to me. All right, well, I love the discussion. Good, punk. All right. You little coward day. piece of crap. <laughs> hey, coward, I'm going to be in New York. You hear me, punk? Hey, hey, Alex. Alex, it's all right, man. You can calm down, dude. No, it's fuck okay. you. Fuck you. No, it's this okay, is the Alex. real radio show, punk. Because you're awake already or you wouldn't be here. What I'm going to talk to you about today comes from my heart. And I think you need to start examining yourself, your agenda, your mission. Who are you? What are you about? What do you believe about America? Is it true? Are you helping to divide us more? Or are you helping to bring us together? Do you really understand what this country is all about? The Constitution is this country. Destroy it and this country ceases to exist instantly. Man, it's not the Jews, it's not the Catholics, it's not the Blacks. It's these men who belong to the ancient mystery schools who meet in secret beside the fate of the world. And they belong to all different races and all different nationalities and all different religions to the public point of view. But in secret, it's a different story. Every secret brotherhood, every secret society, every mystical temple, Every occult organization teaches the Luciferian philosophy. Their whole goal with this philosophy is to teach all men and women that the only end of life is to seek the utmost pleasure and happiness that you can get out of it because when you die there's nothing else. That's what they teach. That's what they want you to be. There's a method to their madness. There's really not much method to yours. Because you're operating from a place of ignorance. And until you change that, you're going to be bumbling around, bumping into each other, saying and doing the wrong things, not understanding the nature of your en enemy. And if you don't understand the nature of your enemy and the weapons they use, you cannot fight that enemy. You can't fight the battle. You shouldn't even be on the battlefield. It'll never be turned around until you learn what you need to know. I believe Frank Whalen may bring it up every now and then. I don't, I haven't listened to his show, but uh, compared to the broadcasters on that sh station who vilified the Jews, uh, I think, uh, if I may add, they they've gotten their way, so to speak, <laughs> trying to eliminate this message. Correct? That's correct. And, uh, you know, if we would come on and attack the Jews and, and call them parasites and vermin and, you know, just begin to parrot the, the, the Nazi fascist line, we would have supporters, we would have men with money backing us, we would have opportunities to speak publicly, blah, 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 blah. But uh, when you pursue the Vatican, the whole world becomes your enemy, as Martin Luther said. So all roads, all roads lead to Rome, and you know I remember when I published my book and Barry Chambers read it, and he I came to the understanding of all these terrible things that the government of Israel was doing to its own people. He realized that the Vatican was behind it, oh. and when he saw that, then he put all these pieces together with Shimon Peres and others, showing that they were absolute agents of the Vatican, and not only. The Masonic Jewish Labor Zionist there, but also the PLO with Yasser Arafat having some eight or nine audiences with the Pope. It's very important to understand that people want to undermine movements. 
and want to claim the people that are effectively exposing the New World Order that, that, that we're all the agents. And, and, and notice we're never out doing that. And then nine times out of ten we find out those saying this about us, they are the agents. No one's saying that the Vatican isn't very corrupt and part of the New World Order. Texas has written books on that and, and even been criticized by Catholic publications for that. Uh, it's just that uh, this is a great wedge issue to, to, to try to somehow energize evangelical Christians into attacking uh, Christian leaders like Tex Mars uh, and others. So it's just more infighting, more divided conquer. We won't spend too much time on that, maybe five, ten minutes, but it should be a very serious discovery uh, that uh, has been made. But I, I don't want this individual's name uttered on my show because before I even knew who he was, he called me, uh, oh no, e emailed me a bunch like four or five years ago, and the first email I saw was, How dare you? You've refused my interviews. Uh, you're clearly a Vatican agent. If you don't interview me within one week, I will expose you. And I was like, well, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Though I would like you to ex uh, expose wh uh, the, the place of the Vatican in the whole New World Order uh, with us today. We're not bashing Catholics, folks. This thing has taken over everything. Uh, but I think it's important to also show that. Uh, but but then I learned this individual says I'm a white supremacist. This indiv no, it's not about me. He says he's a white supremacist. Well, yeah, well, he he, he says that blacks should be put in their own country. This is very important. You see. You say, Brother Eric, you're a racist. What do you mean, racist? Racist means it has been contorted into the definition that only, number one, white men are racist. That is, hating all other races except their own. I am not a racist. I do not hate any other race. I am a racialist. I prefer my own race, just as the Mexicans prefer their own Mexican race. You don't believe me? You just take a trip to Arizona and you ask them who do they prefer, the white gringo or the Mexican? If you don't believe me, you just go to black Philadelphia or black Baltimore and you talk to some of those black people there and you ask them who do they prefer, their own black race or the white man? They will tell you they prefer their own black race, their own Mexican race, their own Hispanic race, and they ought to. We white men are the only ones that are ashamed of our race, and it's because of 60 years of programming, shoving it down our throats, that we're the most evil, wicked race generally on the face of the earth. And I maintain it's the white power structure of the Pope of Rome that's wrecked the nations, that's behind this forced miscegenation, that's behind this amalgamation, and the average white man is not. We white men are being blamed for what the wicked white power structure's doing. And, I, and, and he's clearly trying to discredit the whole movement. I mean, only a two-year-old would, would not see this, but I've ignored it. Uh, and then the people that are his followers, who are well-meaning idiots, I go, but, but do Catholic priests do black magic? I mean, is the earth on a string? He says the earth is on a string in the center of the universe, and that they drop nukes on ley lines with Masonic power beams. I mean, you can't make this up, so that's coming up. Uh, but instead of myself babbling text, we're going to skip this break for the Internet audience and be back for everybody else. Let's get into the economy first and, and, and the election and spend the lion's share of that. I, I don't like policing people, uh, but, but this really is interesting when they try to police police us, and, and, and they're clearly not crackpots, they're clearly there to discredit everybody. Oh yeah, well talking about the, uh, the individual, and by the way, there are a number of individuals seeking to discredit uh, everything from the 9-11 truth movement uh, to really the, what, what we are, which is the overall truth movement, exposing the global conspiracy of the elite. And of course, uh, you know, from the CIA, the Israeli Mossad have a tremendous uh, amount of money. Uh, and they put into these people. There are many disinformation agents uh, out there. But you have to watch carefully what they're doing. Usually they go to the ridiculous. You know, and, and this is what they do to discredit the, the movement because later you'll see them begin to be quoted. For example, the individual you're talking about went over to Israel uh, and was on Israel uh, national radio. So he was chosen, you see. And it turns out, and by the way, he blasts anybody, this person that you're talking about, who supposedly has been exposing the Vatican Jesuits, he will blast anyone who exposes Zionism. We then seek to rival the Pope's political control over Blessed Jerusalem, the city of the great king, unquote, quote, unquote, which includes the removal of the Pope's CFR-led Masonic Sunni Islamic pro-Nazi Arab leaders, as well as his CFR-led pro-Nazi socialist communist Masonic Jewish labor Zionists, both sides covertly working together in dividing the Lord's land given to Jacob and his physical racial descendants in Genesis 28, verses 12 through 15. Benjamin Netanyahu is a traitor.